All right, welcome everyone. Uh, Joey Rusnak here with Lifeguard Authority. I'm joined here with Julene, who's I'm sure familiar face to most people. Julene, thank you for taking a few minutes out of your day. You look stunning today, thank always, you. and your smile. So Julene, I have to be honest with you or for everyone watching, um, I wanted to connect with you about AOAP because um, so much about COVID and life is different. And for many of us aquatic professionals, we balance our pace of life and seasons along with conferences. So it's like, oh, February, AOAP happens or, um, and everything's kind of been upside down. So, you know, my internal clock was going off like, oh, it's AOAP and I've been feeling a little off, um, but we still are having a conference. And I wanted to connect with you to make sure that everyone in the industry knew a little bit about what's going on with AOAP because if they haven't really been in touch, they might um, miss what's happening. So. Thank you for taking a few minutes to have this conversation. So first of all, for those that might not be familiar with AOAP, what's your elevator pitch on who AOAP is before we get into the conference? Well, I always say that the Association of Aquatic Professionals is an association by aquatic professionals for aquatic professionals. So we're an association that was set up by individuals within the industry, and we all have a passion. Anybody out there that's in aquatics, you understand the passion that we all have. It's um, you just you just have it as an aquatic professional and it's so exciting that we are able to share everything and we try to be a one stop shop for all aquatic professionals, whether they're a member of ours or not. I get calls and emails every single day asking me for, you know, where can I find this or what information or help we need this and and that's what we're here for and we're here to tie that industry together. Um, no matter what type of training program you use, what type of pool operator courses you train or use, anything within the aquatics industry, we partner and collaborate with everybody. You're very much a voice and a resource. I want to thank you. Your, your website, you have this like resource page. And when we were navigating, you know, all this like abundance of information that was kind of happening during COVID, that was like a go-to place for me that I could get to what I needed to. So I very much appreciated the work that was done. Um, by, you know, your organization for that. And that's exactly what we're here for. So, you know, there were so many great things happening all over the place and people kept saying, well, I can't find information. So we just got the permission and put it all on one page. And again, that's that one-stop shop we try to be and help everybody out. That's awesome. Okay, so I want to talk to you about AOAP Conference. Um, so what's different this year? It still is happening, and um, but it's happening a little bit differently, obviously, in true COVID fashion. So what can we expect this year from AOAP? Well, I can tell everybody my heart broke uh, when we had to go virtual. Um, our, our conference is a family and it's an experience. And if anybody has not been able to experience in person, hopefully in 2022, we'll be back in St. Pete's Beach and you can. Um, but we were just very blessed to be able to find a platform called Air Meets that we are using for our conference. And we are having a conference. It's very unique and interactive. It's not your typical Zoom meeting. You know, Zoom meetings, we've all been doing them every single day, every single week. We're, I think we're Zoomed out a little bit. Um, and what's really nice about this conference is it will be very interactive. We have all the same sessions that were being offered at the conference on our website, um, www.aquaticpros.org. Our conference booklet is on there. You can flip through it. You can see the 72 different sessions we're still offering. Uh, we have Matt Biondi as our keynote. Jamal Hill as our end closing note. And we're partnering with Diversity and Aquatics. So they're holding their convention with ours. We've got networking opportunities. And I, I know we'll get into that in a little bit. But there's just so many things that I can tell you that after seeing and experiencing the platform, I'm all excited again. Um, you could, you'll actually have lounge social networking lounges that you can actually meet up with your friends that you only see once a year. And we're excited to offer that platform as well. Which, which is so important because like, so I go to conference and I always come back um, and I have so many ideas with what I want to do. But what I've learned over the years is I get so much just from the networking as much from the sessions as well, because you're talking to people with similar problems and things. So, okay, so people, um, their first reaction, Julie, might be, okay, well, it's online, it's COVID, so it's going to be less good. Like they might not have the same types of speakers. Do you still have like the same type of lineup of speakers? How, what, what's the response been? I know I bailed on you because it was in the States and I'm from Canada and I couldn't um, get across the border when the call went out. So um, I'm kind of excited to attend just as a delegate this year, but did you get a good response and are you happy with the lineup of sessions? 
actually, I think it's our best one to date. I mean, we're missing oh, wow. great speakers such as yourself, um, but really we got some really, I think, new ones. Um, there were people that said, you know, I might, I won't, I can't commit because I might not be able to travel because of everything's going on. And of course, our bottom line was the safety of everybody. And we wanted to make sure everybody was going to be safe, but our same, it's the same lineup. So when we had put that lineup into place and all the sessions were chosen and our booklet came out last fall, nothing changed. Uh, we had one speaker that had to back out because they took a different job. But other than that, it's the same exact lineup. It is going to be really exciting. And, and what we're doing is for our sponsors, we're able to give them so much more. We've got a sponsor. Um, before every session, you're going to see a short sponsorship video that promotes our sponsors because that's what helps us. But then you'll see a short intro for the presentation. Uh, some of those introductions are a little bit longer. Um, I myself am doing a session, but I'm so busy that I taped a good portion of my session, but then every single session will have a portion of live in person. And most of them will be the bulk of the time. Whereas we can have this conversation, I'll be presenting and Joey might have a question. You raise your hand, I click on it. You're gonna pop up on the screen right, right across from me and we're gonna have a conversation. Um, you can ask your question, answer, then we keep going in the presentation. So I think it's going to be one of the most interactive that you've seen um, for any of the online conferences out there. So uh, what if like, because many of us have been redeployed, many of us have mm -hmm. had some changes in employment, but we still want to stay in touch with aquatics. What if I can't actually attend those specific dates? So like typically with AYP, if I can't come, like I miss out. Um, has anything changed in that regard? Is that very similar or is there access to resources after? What's that look like? Here's the most amazing part of this platform. So everyone can register for the conference and we lowered the price, made it as reasonable as possible for everybody. Um, and in today's AOAP weekly, we throw out a special for anybody that has larger groups that want, want to bring more people from their organizations where they can get a couple people for free. Um, but basically, if you're not able to attend that week, uh, those that are will be able to attend one session per time spot because they're live. Yeah. But then for the next four weeks, you will be able to watch any of those 72 sessions that will be taped. And you'll be able to get into the platform and you'll be able to watch those. So you can watch up to 72 sessions. Even better, um, for the main registration fee, you get up to 1.2 CEUs. So that's for up to 12 sessions or 12 hours, basically. But if you want more, it's a small additional fee, depending on the CEUs you want. You could get 2.4, 3.6, 4.8, or up to wow. 7.2 CEUs. So if you're going for the aquatic professional designation or CPRP renewal, AFO renewal, pool operator renewals, anything that you need continuing education for, you'll be able to get that all throughout our conference, all for a low price. So member price is $299. And a non-member price is three thirty nine, dollars and it includes a membership for a year. Oh, nice. Okay, so you know what's so awesome about that is because we've all had that moment where we're standing with the booklet, and, you know, we thought we figured out our session, but we're torn between two sessions, and then we're like, okay, well, I need to clone myself, or you grab a friend, and you're like, okay, I'll go to this session, you go to this session, and let's meet up afterwards, so I really like this, that, uh, you know, there's a, a lot of glass half full kind of moments, I think, through the pandemic because now we can really get the best of both worlds and um, get that. I also, I don't know if people like watching this might know, but AOAP, um, there's a lot of people giving back. So as a speaker, we're not paid a speaker fee when we are there, a part of the community and supporting AOAP. So what's really inspiring to me, Julian, is to hear you say that you still had a great response from the speakers in the community. And I really, um, that inspires me because we really are a big family and to see everyone still putting an effort because it takes time. I can tell you that like many of my sessions take over 50 hours of prep to just like put together that session. So to see people stepping forward and wanting to still make that commitment, I really hope that the industry and everyone watching this video also take that step to say, you know what, this is a tough time by registering. Not only am I going to learn and improve my organization, but I can also support AOAP to keep that organization thriving in the progress. I mean, you, we're growing in the impact is, um, I say we, because we're all a big family. Um, so I think that that's great. That's, that's really motivating. So thank you for sharing that. Like I, I get excited about that kind of stuff. And so. I think Joey, from AOAP, we are so very blessed that we have so many people that support the association and support yeah. our mission. 
Um, and, and the speakers are a big part of that. And, and obviously we couldn't do what we do without the speakers volunteering. You know, I myself throughout the years have volunteered to, to present at a lot of different conferences. And it's really, I think, made me a better um, person, knowledgeable wise, but also just being able to give back to the industry. And, and we do appreciate every single one and we appreciate every single one of our sponsors that we have, they're all listed. And, and what's really neat about the platform as well is we'll have a backdrop for all of our sessions and it gives credit to all of those marketing partners and sponsors that we have. And, you know, we're also excited. I have to put a plug in. We have Matt Biondi and, uh, you know, people get excited about meeting actors and actresses and stuff. And I was like a little kid in a candy store when I got to talk to him in person. I'm very sad I can't meet him in person, but I've talked to him a number of times and he's doing some other projects with us as well. And he's just really an amazing individual. So we're excited to be working with him. And Jamal Hill is our endnote. Um, and then we're partnering with Diversity and Aquatics. So it's a great opportunity for anybody. They're holding their convention in conjunction with ours at the, nice. at the end of our conference. Um, and people can register for their convention as well through our platform. And we're really excited about that. Yeah, what an exciting collaboration. That's awesome. So before, I have a couple of things before we wrap this up. One, you've mentioned sponsorships, which I know are a big part of supporting the, the conference and the experience to make it happen for all of us. But like, so I know I go to the trade show, like I'm working that room, I'm meeting people, I'm figuring out what's next for uh, my community. And, you know, it's cheaper to pay extra luggage than shipping for Canada. So I always have all these boxes on my card as I bring things back from the trade show. Is, is there still an element of the trade show? Can people still connect with those vendors and, and do that? Like, how have you guys figured that out? Well, here's the greatest part about this. You don't have to be registered for our conference to attend the virtual trade show. Oh, nice. So if anybody wants to attend the virtual trade show, they just need to send me an email and hopefully you can put my email um, somewhere in this recording as well oh. to help people. Um, but once we have that link, we can give that out to people. So if you can't afford to attend the conference, you can definitely attend the virtual trade show. And, and we encourage that. Um, it's actually a virtual trade show where you enter an area, you click on a on a company and you can take a seat at a, at one of their tables. So they oh, might wow. have one table, they might have a number of them depending on the, the product or the service they provide. You put your um, cursor on that table and you will pop up and just like you and I are talking right now, you'll be talking to somebody from that company and getting information. Uh, for those of you that don't feel comfortable do that, doing that, there's a button you can click on to get information from them and hook up mm -hmm. with them later. Um, so that's our, our virtual exhibit hall. And, and we, again, really encourage people because without our exhibitors, we wouldn't be able to exist either. Um, and supporting those companies. So yeah, when, when things get better and we're all ready to go again, um, we're going to need equipment. So hopefully well, and we can deliver our products and services if we didn't have the support of them, you know, uh, uh, supplying us with all of that stuff. So I think that it's really cool to hear you say that, like the things that like technology can do to replicate that experience um, during these times. It's, I don't know if those all existed before or if they've all happened as a result, but it's, 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 really, it's really cool to hear that. So- um, I, Real quick, if I can, just I mean, we've, we've added, um, there's other things as well. So Monday night we have, for anybody registered for the conference, you can attend a, um, a beta testing with Kevin Post and Dr. Tom Griffiths. They're okay. beta testing a, product that everybody that participates on Monday night with our networking social um, will be able to participate in that project for free for a year. Oh and then God. on Wednesday night, we are actually having an in-person online virtual social dinner and everybody that registers is going to get a $25 Grubhub ticket. And then they're also going, we're going to do virtual karaoke, virtual trivia. So those type of things are still going to be happening. And we have opportunities in our virtual social lounge that Joey, you want to meet up with your friends that you normally see at the conference, you can all hook yourself up at a table and have a conversation. You can do speed networking. It's kind of like speed dating, I said, but it's speed networking where you can just dump, jump from different tables and meet a whole bunch of new people. So we're really excited about it. So those, those big group shots, I know the Arizona crew, I always jump in and then with a random Canadian in that photo, we can do a screenshot during a, a social day. That's really exactly. neat. Exactly. And I'll have my drink here. I'll, I'll stock up ahead of time so that we can all enjoy this. <laughs> um, so I've, I've just, um, I'm, I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be there. Um, 
how do, is it too late to register? Give us the last, where do we connect with the information? I guess we could put the links or um, you can comment on this in the Lifeguard Authority group. Um, and hopefully everyone's seen this video, share it on all of the groups and platforms, but where do they go to register? And it, it's great that it's um, more accessible and cheaper because without travel, there might be people in an organization where you can find like more people going that might not have necessarily gone, which is exciting. But how do we get to that information? How do we register? Point us in the right direction. So I'm going to actually provide you the link. So hopefully you okay. can put it at the end of this video because that'll be the easiest to do it. But if you go to the website at www.aquaticpros.org under events, you can register as an attendee. Um, you can register anytime. We highly encourage people to register in advance, obviously. Um, we're actually looking at putting together some swag bags also that will get shipped out to everybody that registers oh, for nice. the conference as well. So something that you, you, like you were saying, it's exciting to go through the exhibit hall and get some things. Um, so you'll still get something from it on top of that $25 Grubhub ticket to actually enjoy a meal with us. But if you can, if you go to that page, we have under our educational page on our website under conference and exposition, you can go there, you can see a promotional video on the platform, kind of talks about what the platform is, how it's gonna work. And then there's also the conference brochure. And I'll give you that link also because they can download that. Um, it's an electronic brochure, but can also be downloaded to a PDF. Nice. So Julian, thank you for your time. I'm committing before I die to find out from you where you get those really cool pen drives every year in the swag bag. That's something <laughs> that's a personal mission of mine. You always do such a good job with those swag bags and you've always got that really cool stuff. But um, thank you for um, the leadership that you're doing, all the hard work that you've done, um, both for this conference, but throughout the year with the industry and, uh, and extend that to the board of AOAP. I um, really appreciate all that. And thank you for sharing the information today. And I'm looking forward to seeing everyone and connecting with everyone at the conference and, um, and you and hopefully your, your team at the registration desk makes an appearance at a social or something because I miss all of them as well. So um, again, thank you so much and uh, be safe. Uh, thank you for your time here today. And thank you so much. And we hope that everybody's gonna join us at the 10th annual conference and exposition virtually for this amazing platform and help us celebrate a decade of making a difference because it's our 10th conference. So we're excited to keep going. And even if you're not able to attend the conference, please get in touch with me. If you ever need anything for anybody watching this in aquatics, um, we partner with a lot of different groups and I can find information if you need something. And if you're not able to attend the conference, like Joey said, in person, definitely get registered because you'll have up to four weeks to watch all of those sessions and participate in everything. That's awesome. Thank you okay. so much for having me. Be safe. Thanks so much. You too.